all right welcome back to the channel collective today you get a sunset reading from me today we're in the magic hour but let's get right into it we're gonna jump into your love energetics and see what's currently surrounding you in love and romance it just had eight on the head <laughs> yeah so this is gonna be in regards to your current love relationships or situationships right whether you're single looking or uh, currently in a relationship or married let's try and get the highest messages of love and light love messages from your person how do they feel about this connection any advice spirit wants to relate through the cardamancy and the to romance and the matters of the heart for you i can kind of project a little bit because i'm not in the library this is where i go eat dinner every night just had yogurt and a deli sandwich <laughs> All right, so I have been seeing a lot. That was just the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups. So there's positivity around you. Mm -hmm. Definitely love, strong feelings, high amounts of sympathy, empathy, and intuition around you and your loved ones or you and your person. I just don't like seeing the bottom of the deck as I'm shuffling. It makes me feel like I'm cheating as a reader, right? But <laughs> I mean, the cards will fall how they fall. <laughs> This tape is a little shaky. All right. There goes your jumper. You got a six of pentacles. You may be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Reciprocation. And, okay, let me stop shuffling. Yeah, Taurus, grounding the reading here. This is what your current energy is, or this is the energy around you. You could be dealing with a Taurus, or this could be a religion, right? Traditionalism. Mm hmm an entrepreneur or something like that, some sort of a teacher. So I'm not sure if you're learning right now or if there's a teacher around you that you're dealing with or if you're adventuring into entrepreneurship, maybe you're studying that or I'm not sure what it is. You could have a salesman here or some sort of a martyr. Yeah, like a preacher or a pastor, they would like, um, this is like someone that does volunteer work, very generous person. There could be some sort of a balance or payment coming towards you as well. Yeah, you have movement. So the energy of the person that's coming towards you is very uh, calm, very relaxing, right? Very peaceful when it comes to the mind state. Mm -hmm. Double sixes we have here. Another six already. Three, three, I'm sorry, six, six, six. Already we have six, six, six. So this person feels like they have a sort of a past connection with you. I'm not sure if this is a past life connection or just a relationship from the past or someone that gives you nostalgic feelings or perhaps someone that's coming in with a cure, possibly laughter, and wants to build new memories with you, All right? And we know 66 is about self-care, right? It's the DNA strand. Yeah, so this person may be coming towards you to offer you some sort of a gift on the Six of Pentacles and on the Six of Cups. They're both offering something to someone. So again, your, your person may uh, help people or your person may be seeking out your help. More messages. Ten of Wands, burdens and responsibilities they're dealing with here. This could be movement. Mm -hmm. This person wants to come towards you. I'm guessing they're wanting to start to build some sort of a foundation with you. It could be a highly spiritual connection. Yeah, psychic, ain't it? <laughs> I was just about to say sexual because of all these wands this person's holding. Mm -hmm. Getting a lot of channel messages that I don't really want to. I don't know if this person has had an active sex life in the past. Now they can be like abstinent here or something like that. A born again virgin, whatever the case may be. I never really get those types of messages. But this person could be very spiritual. They could be very uh, deep. Very empathic, connected to the universe or connected to spirit or whatever their religion is. This is actually my twin flame union uh, pair. When religion meets spirituality. <laughs> right. I have priestess in the hierophant. <coughs> two spiritual teachers, two religious guides. Right. <clears throat> and then the six of uh, cups is here. This is past life twin flame energy. If you follow that sort of thing, 
So we're going to get to the second row and get more energies of the person that's coming towards you. How are they coming towards you? Why? <laughs> All right. Possibly wanting to clear up something here. This is my cure card. This five of swords, miscommunication, arguing and debating came out uh, on top of my cure card. So someone wants to cure an argument possibly or a misunderstanding that they have with you. It's definitely self-sabotage in cases Five of Swords is. Let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Swords. So coming out of the Five of Swords, yeah, they're walking away here or releasing whatever this toxicity was. Mm -hmm. Possibly wanting to come towards you or maybe they're leading, needing some alone time. It's either or. It really seems like they want to walk away from this BS. Now, this could be someone from the past. Maybe you're trying to avoid this person that's trying to come in with some sort of a cure or reconciliation. Let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. They feel very enthusiastic about you. This is like younger energy here. You have a young content creator or someone that's like they like to do light adventures, high intensity, no, not high intensity training, but like little small exercises or something like that. Maybe they're creative in some sort of a kind of way, an artist or uh, just a craftsman or a craftswoman. Yeah. It's a possibility that they get paid for whatever they produce. I don't know, jewelry or whatever the case may be. Or if they paint. Could be a content creator as well, though, an amateur content creator. We have the, <laughs> we have the Ten of Wands. This person's moving. Or they're carrying a lot of weight here. A lot of physical baggage. Oh, I've never really gotten this message before. This person is carrying a lot of generational curses. And the 666 is here, which would be, it would be DNA healing, right? Let's go ahead and clarify this 10 of wands, though. Justice. Yeah, okay, so this person is bringing you justice. Either way it goes, if you're the Libra or if this person is the Libra, someone here is dealing with a lot of baggage here. So it could be on a weight loss uh, journey as well. I just want to throw that out there. Um, or a weight gain journey. Take it how it resonates. But yeah, the uh, Justice Libra. So someone's bringing karma or justice to you or some sort of a, a, hmm, a truth possibly. This could be someone that's highly attracted to you as well though. Like um, it could be sexual curiosity. They're wanting to get in an entanglement. I'm not sure if this is like a relationship or a marriage here. Ooh. Let's clarify the high priestess because it seems like a spiritual union here. The four of pentacles. Mm. Self-investment. Holding back from uh, overspending. Miserly activity. Saving. Someone holding a love connection close to their chest though. Let's get to the third row. What's the outcome of this relationship? The King of Swords, possibly a contract. Could be dealing with an, uh, a motivational speaker, a thought provoker, right? Maybe an author, an editor, it's 808. Go ahead and screenshot that. Um... This could be a director as well. Maybe this person, yeah, they're like some sort of, um, this could be a doctor as well, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting something like on social media, like something where, like TikTok or something like that, like real quick images or uh, modes of expression, possibly Instagram stories or something like that. That's the vibe that it's giving me. It could be YouTube shorts as well. Unless someone's shooting a full-length movie or they're just traveling around and giving a bunch of uh, lectures and speeches or something like that. Yeah, this could be a teacher. A lot of that is, is done online as well. Maybe there's a course someone's taking here. Yeah, this person is very is into knowledge here. The King of Swords is a very knowledgeable individual. And we have the High Priestess here, which is uh, esoteric and occultic, right? Hidden information. An, an occult is not weird. And esoteric is just out of the box or not normal uh, education, right? 
you really have to have a thirst for knowledge to, uh, you know, just like researching history is research, researching occultism. Right? <laughs> Let's see. This person is definitely leaving something behind or walking away from something. I don't think this person is a fighter here. Yeah, they're a, they're a healer. They're a lover. <laughs> this is replenishment. Aquarius, the star card. Another form of enlightenment, illumination, or uh, highlights and celebrity moments. Yeah, could be dealing with a very important person. Again, they may be, may be in a public eye as the king of swords. Or even as the high priestess. Maybe there's some sort of a... Uh, like a... Hmm. They're a guide, but it's like... Yeah, there's some sort of a spiritual guide here. Let's go with the Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Clarify this energy here. The Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Juggling, right? Or some sort of a trying to maintain an equal balance. Maybe this person wants to get on the same level as you. Yeah. Comes out on top of the Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So that would be an Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's trying to... Yeah, they're trying to be consistent or something like that. They're trying to get on the same level as you. They want to prove to you how thorough they are. I'm not sure if this person is a perfectionist or not, but I mean, <laughs> the King of Swords and Justice showing up. <laughs> yeah. Let's clarify Justice, by the way. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a new uh, commitment coming towards you. Now, this is going to be a high... Oops. <laughs> this table is so shaky and rocky. So what I was going to say is this is going to be a very highly spiritual connection and a highly sexual connection. Right, I don't know if you guys are gonna be studying like uh, Kundalini or Kama Sutra together, but yeah, there's definitely a new commitment or gift coming towards you. But usually, Justice is Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is my uh, marriage ring card, and of course, Justice is it's it symbolizes relationships, right? Marriage and networking and that sort of thing. Right? Yeah, and this is why I say it's highly sexual, a higher, highly spiritual. We already have religion and spirituality here with the here of Font Taurus and um, the high priest is Cancer. Mm -hmm. Person may be an Aquarius here. We have double Aquarius here, the star card and the king of swords. Yeah. I don't know if someone was non committal in the past or they avoided commitment, but they're ready to um, have commitment now. We have the Four of Pentacles on top of the High Priest. This is what it clarifies. So this is the last card here. The Fool taking a leap of faith. This could be like a minimalist or something like that. Um, they could care less about finances. Now, I just have to put this in perspective because I know how important finances are in our day-to-day -day job, right? I have enough. Right. <laughs> to be to, to at least wake up and be grateful for the things that I do have. Right? <laughs> it's nothing to do what I want to do or have what I need to have. Because what I want to do is travel the world. Right. And do what I do now. Yeah. You hear the alarm going off. But yeah. The full card. Uh, Aries energy. Mm -hmm. Some are very expressive. Some are very active. Mm -hmm. Comes out on top of. What I just said, the Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You may have someone that learns by doing as well. Maybe they're good with their hands. Yeah. Whether it's juggling, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's good with their hands here. But there's a new opportunity of uh, abundance for you, including material wealth and success. Someone wants to work with you here. This could be a partnership or some sort of a collaboration. And there's definitely love here as well. I'm not sure if it's with the same person. This could be, yeah, um, a remote, a romantic relationship with your business partner. Again, we hear fun is usually some sort of an entrepreneur. Damn, this table is so shaky. <laughs> and the Hierophant is a hard worker, right? It's an earth sign, so they like to have their pentacles. Yeah. And, yeah, getting a high priestess is spiritual matters, right? Usually, you know, a clairvoyant or something like that, a psychic, people go to to receive some sort of a advice. They end up, you know, reciprocating what they have, right? It could be a little or a lot. Right? It's reverence is what I'm getting. Yeah, re is it, yeah reverence, mm -hmm. the star card. People see uh, your person as wish fulfillment and hope. They're like some sort of a star or a celebrity. Or, again, they're in the public eye. 
Now I do have to look at what's underneath the deck. This fell down. This phone done fell like two or three times. I'm so distracted. So the hair font, and yeah, they're bringing in this engagement. They're bringing in this Ace of Pentacles through this night here, a slow moving offer. So again, your person could be an earth sign, where they're just very <sighs> contemplative, maybe slow moving. They definitely like you though. They have a crush on you. Possibly want to have a child with you. They have a lot of they possibly have dreams about you as well. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. Probably probably want to communicate with you romantically. This could be poetry or writing about you. Something like that. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. They're very guarded and, de and defensive at this time. Or aggressive. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe due to some sort of an imbalance. Or maybe uh, some type of holding back the truth here. With the Four of Pentacles and the uh, Seven of Swords. Uh, hold on a second. Because I'd like to give you guys a visual of what I've seen. Yeah. Maybe kind of thrown off right now for whatever reason. They're possibly needing some alone time, time to think things over or contemplate. Yeah, you're getting this kind of energy here. They're staying to themselves. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's do your break deck message and we'll close out the reading for you. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the reading. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune is showing up. The two of pentacles yeah so it's like double dutch fate and destiny stepping in to uh bring some clarity to the situation it's also my wedding ring card as well so again this could be wish fulfillment in regards to love and there seems to be some sort of a material abundance or success or upward mobility upward mobility destined to happen for you so yeah i would just uh, recommend regardless of anything always work on yourself self-love Whatever else you need to work on, your finances, your spirituality, your mental health, just make sure, you know, your physical health. So that when your person does come in, right, judgments, judgment calls needing to be made, right, and responsibilities. When it comes to important decisions like this, whether it's dropping responsibilities or going uh, into a relationship, whatever the case may be, it can be traveling, right? Make sure you're already uh, prepared for that sort of thing. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups, clairvoyant. A lot of strong emotions here. Cancerian energy. All right. Any jumpers before we close out with the break deck message? Please and thank you, Spirit Team. What does the collective watchers need to know in regards to love and romance today? The matters of the heart. What's the advice? Ooh. We got the Six of Pentacles, a game. And we got the Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, this person wants to come in and offer you something. He wants to offer you assistance. wants to offer you support, generosity. Again, it could even be marriage, possibly some sort of a balance of a partnership. Eight of Cups and the King of Swords. Yeah, someone needs to explain themselves, possibly, is what I'm getting as a channel message. Well, this person may be either, um, I think they're walking towards you, but I mean, they, they, um, do you know this person? This person's trying to avoid you right now, or this person, again, it feels like someone just needs some alone time to think things over, is what it feels like, right? usually indicative of the business or again needing to detach for something right you can't get too attached to things especially emotionally yeah yeah this person is facing a lot of trauma here with the red on it's like a sometimes an injury can symbolize red or sorry red can symbolize an, uh, an injury hmm but the king of swords here discernment yeah it's, it seems like they're in some sort of a deep contemplation here almost giving me virgo energy King of Swords, however, it could be some sort of an incoming communication or some sort of a truth headed towards you. Aquarius, um, eccentric thinkers, free spirited people, um, very intelligent, very genius. They're supposed to be the friend. They're, they're supposed to be the friend makers of the zodiac, even more than Libra. Libras are the sign of relationships. Aquarius is the sign of friendships, but. <laughs> People don't usually see it that way because it's hard to know what an Aquarius thinks, feels, or, you know, what they're going to do next. It's hard to time down. Maybe a person has uh, Aquarius somewhere highly aspected in the chart as it double confirms the reading with the King of Swords and the Star card. A lot of air sign energy in this reading. And even in the Knight of Swords is showing up. 
Someone wants to communicate with you, speak with you, have dialogue with you. This could be incoming messages as well. Text message, phone call, or DM. You have strength. This person is very brave that's coming towards you. They're very determined. They have a lot of inner strength, right? <laughs> I guess they're romantically attracted to you. It's not an obsession. I guess they really like you, though. Now, this maiden is taming this... Um, this beast, this lion. Yeah, you guys may have some sort of a mental or spiritual connection, right? Her third eye, um, not a third eye, but her crown chakra is lit up here with the, it's not a halo, right? Because she's not an angelic being, it's a human. It has a lot of potential, right? And remember, sometimes I tell you guys, angels are even envious of humans. For several reasons, I'll speak about some other time. Again, I was supposed to go live last Friday, but I didn't. So I'm going to need to go uh, live at some point this week. But yeah, uh, that's what I have for you. It seems like this person that's coming towards you, they're very beautiful. They're very attractive. They could possibly be apprehensive. I'm not sure if they're dealing with something personally, right? Like it seems like they want a long time or they recently detoxed or walked away from something. But yeah, they want a relationship with you here, some sort of a connection. They're coming in um, with a lot of love, um, wanting to ground the 3D connection through Ace of uh, Coin or Ace of Pentacles. Um definitely crushing on you but it's slow moving it could be hesitation it could be a vetting process but i'm not sure how it's coming i'm not sure if they're thinking of you in a negative way or in a positive way but they like you so you know obviously <laughs> they still you're still on the menu right <laughs> but that's what i have for you guys today like the video and subscribe to the channel look it's almost nighttime right the magic hour huh? make a wish peace